Hey guys, welcome back. And in this video, I'll be demonstrating two different methods for setting up a VPN on your gaming console. Unlike installing a VPN on your computer or mobile device, setting up a VPN on your gaming console can be challenging. And so I'm here to assist you with this process. Also, if at any point you'd like to give any of the VPNs mentioned later on a try, you'll find discount links available in the description down below to help you save some extra money. Unfortunately, there is no direct way to install a VPN on your gaming console, so I'll be presenting two workarounds that you can try. The first method involves installing a VPN on your router. If your gaming console lacks a VPN app, you can still connect to a VPN by setting it up on your home router and then leaking your console to the router. This approach offers the same outcome as having a VPN app on your gaming console and it enables you to use a VPN on all of your devices that are connected to your home network. However, not all routers and VPNs support this configuration, so you will need to research and verify this information. Once you have completed the initial part of installing a VPN on your router, connecting your gaming console to the router is very simple. But keep in mind that changing VPN servers and all devices connected to your router can be quite complicated with this method. This method works fairly well with the gaming console, but it is not perfect as it forces you to go through a VPN even if you don't want to. Let's move on to method number two, which involves sharing a VPN connection from your Windows device. To use this method, you need to have a computer with a VPN already installed and connected. Unfortunately, macOS users are out of luck as the Apple system doesn't offer this option. The benefits of this method are evident. It's relatively easy to set up and it's straightforward to make changes later on when you need to switch VPN servers or make other adjustments. So how do you set up a VPN hotspot? In this tutorial, we'll be using ExpressVPN. Here are the steps you need to follow to share a VPN connection from your Windows device. First, open the network and internet settings on your computer. Once there, click on mobile hotspot and turn on the switch at the top to enable. Below these options, click on edit to assign a name and password to your VPN hotspot. Also, make sure that you create a strong password that contains numbers, letters, and different symbols. Finally, click save after entering the name and password. Now to proceed, we'll need to return to the network and internet settings and access the advanced network options. Within the menu, locate the selection for additional network adaptive options, which will provide a list of all available adapters. Find the Wi-Fi Direct virtual adapter associated with the recently created mobile hotspot and make a note of it for later use. Next, identify the ExpressVPN tap adapter and right-click to select its properties. Within the sharing tab, enable the checkbox allowing other users to connect through the computer's internet connection. Then, select the mobile hotspot we previously created from the drop-down list of available connections to the Windows settings and click OK. Finally, launch the ExpressVPN app to establish a connection using the OpenVPN UDP protocol, which can be changed in the settings and protocol settings. Afterwards, choose your preferred VPN location to set up the hotspot accordingly. Once completed, your gaming console can connect to the newly created hotspot. To complete the process, connect your gaming console to the hotspot you just created. Open your console's network settings and select a new hotspot. Once connected, your gaming console will use the same internet connection and IP address as your Windows device, which is connected to the internet through the VPN. As a result, all of your gaming traffic will be encrypted and routed through the VPN servers. To ensure that the newly created connection is working, you can check your IP address using any wireless device connected to the hotspot and the IP checker tool. This will confirm that your IP address has been changed to the desired location. Now, if you're looking for other possible VPN options to use for gaming or other online related activities, I've got you covered. And so I've been regularly testing the best and most popular VPNs and have narrowed it down to Express, Nord, and Surfshark as the best three VPNs overall. Of course, they all vary in budgets and features, yet they all have a kill switch. They're excellent for torrenting 
and they all consistently work with streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime Video. And that's why these are my favorite three, but depending on your situation and preferences, one of them may be a better choice for you, and I'll explain why. Now, starting with ExpressVPN, and this is going to be the one to get if you're looking for the best overall, fastest, and easiest to use VPN, and it has the most verified no locks policy, which was demonstrated through a real life stress test proving that they don't collect or track any user data. It has over 3,000 servers in 94 countries, which is a big number of countries allowing you to easily access content from all over the globe. Plus, you can secure up to five simultaneous connections per account and it's compatible with most devices. And so ultimately, whenever people ask us what the best, most reliable VPN is and don't mind spending a few extra dollars to ensure the highest level of reliability, Express is our trusty go-to choice for those looking for a premium VPN. Next up is NordVPN, and Nord is what I consider the best value VPN. It has over 5,400 servers in 60 countries, and while more servers does not necessarily mean better service, this can help with speed and latency, especially if you use a VPN for gaming, or if you want extra features such as a threat protection which blocks ads, malware within websites, as well as protect your device from harmful files, which is a neat little feature. And so Nord kind of gives you more options to fiddle with, and that's where the value for the money comes from, especially that it's about as fast as ExpressVPN in terms of performance, and will let you secure up to six devices per subscription, as opposed to ExpressVPN's five device limit. So all in all, if you're someone looking to have a few more options in your VPN, then Nord would be the one to get. And then finally, Surfshark is our pick for the best budget VPN. And while it has all the essentials like Express and Nord, it's not quite as fast as those two. Although with Surfshark, you're allowed to virtually secure an unlimited number of devices with just one account, so it's a great option if you don't want any simultaneous connection limits. You also get over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, which is a lot. You still get some bonus features such as an ad blocker for blocking pop-ups, two types of specialty servers, as well as no borders mode and rotating IP, which can be very useful if you're looking to use your VPN in a restrictive country. So ultimately, if you're looking to spend the least amount of money but still have all the core features of a premium VPN, or if you need a VPN that allows you to secure all of your devices, or if you have a large family, then Surfshark is the ideal choice. And so to sum it up, these are definitely the best in the business. Express is a premium VPN with a strong emphasis on security and utmost anonymity. And it's perfect for those who are privacy conscious and are looking for the best VPN overall. Then NordVPN is a well-rounded, high-performance VPN that offers a lot of value for the money and is ideal for those looking for bonus features that can be useful in a variety of ways besides base VPN functions such as a strong encryption, secure torrenting, and working with streaming services. And Surfshark is truly the best budget VPN that gets the job done without sacrificing any of the necessary security features that you usually get with more expensive VPNs. And as an added bonus, you get to share it around with as many of your friends and family as you like, which is a great plus. In summary, you have two ways to use a VPN on your gaming console, installing it on your router or sharing your Windows VPN connection through a hotspot. Both options can provide a more secure and private gaming experience, letting you safely and comfortably enjoy gaming online without any worries. So that's it for this video. Again, if you're interested in these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts as well as in-depth reviews in the description down below. And feel free to comment below if you have any questions as I love getting to interact with you guys and like and subscribe if you found this video helpful or would like to stay up to date with future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.